Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, channel like Try Anything, so you don't have to. In this video, what we're going to do is a tutorial video of the Casio LW201, which is this watch in particular. Now, if you have watched the review, a lot of the features that we are going to show here will be shown on that review video. So if you've already seen the review video, then you may need to look away. But this video here is more specifically just the actual functions and how to use the functions of the Casio LW201. So as I say, what we're going to do is we're going to kick off with uh, the first one being the timekeeping mode. So to adjust the actual timekeeping mode, it's as simple as just keeping your finger on the button there, which is the top left. And what you'll notice is the actual second hand will flash. Now, if I press this button here, what you've noticed, it will go reset to zero. But because it's over 30 seconds, it will go up by one minute on the actual minute part of the uh, time display here but if you reset it below 30 seconds it just resets the seconds so to move it along what you then press is a mode and that will take it to the hour part of the display and then what it allows you to do is to actually if you keep your finger on it you'll accelerate throughout the actual time that you're looking to get to or if you just keep pressing it singularly um, as i'm showing you here you can be more specific with the time so with it being two um sorry with it being 335 then you can set it as such. And again, the same with the minutes, you press the mode button here, that'll take you through to the minutes. And then if you press that button there, that will allow you to advance the actual time lock I've shown you in the hour previously. Again, you can do the same with the um, year. And um, this will go up to 2099. And once you have set the actual calendar, it is automatic up to that date. So it will take into account leap years and stuff like that really. The next one again is what would be the month. So again, if you want to press it to accelerate through the months, you can do so quite easily with it being the 14th of April that this is filmed on and the same with the actual day of the month. And then finally, you can do with the actual week or sorry, the day in the week as well. So with this one being Thursday, so it's not automatic like some Casios, you do actually have to set it yourself. And then you just press that one to stop the adjust. Now, just to quickly show you, I've shown you how to adjust the time, just to show you what's on the display. Um, on the display, you have the actual day of the week. You've got the, um, obviously, as I've mentioned before, the month, uh, the dates within the month, the hour, and the minute and the seconds. And obviously you have a P denoting that it's PM. You can change it between 12 and 24 hour here, just to show you by pressing this button here, which is indicated with 12 and 24 hour. Um, so it's as easy as that really. And if you want to operate the light, I'm gonna move it over to the left and just show you the actual LED function. But I'm also gonna be showing you what the LED function looks like in the dark just by pressing it here. And one other thing to mention about the lights is if you keep your finger or thumb on this bottom right hand corner uh, for about a couple of seconds, you'll notice it says three just here. If I can uh, just zoom in there, it says three. Now that refers to that the actual LED, uh, the actual light when pressed will illuminate for three seconds. Whereas if you turn the actual three off, by again pressing the 24 hour for a couple of seconds, it'll only illuminate for about one and a half seconds. And that's it really, that's the kind of display and the time keeping uh, just quickly spoke about with the 24 hour. The next mode to talk about is the actual alarm. Now obviously on this screen what you will see is the actual AL indicating the alarm. I mean just to, uh, just to say that the top uh, graphic here is just the indication of the passage of like seconds. So you'll always see that ad advance if you're on the alarm mode or dual time and stuff just to say that obviously time is carrying on really. And as you can see with the actual um, display here you've got the, the actual local time or what is in your time keeping mode here but the actual alarm display is just underneath so currently it is set for 7 30 and to actually set the alarm so it will go off at 7 30 you just press this button here press it again for hourly signal so it will chime on the hour every hour and then press it again and you both got the alarm setting and the hourly signal and again one more time just to turn it off to adjust the time keep your finger on that button there and what you'll notice is that the actual alarm will indicate to say that it's actually activated the alarm as well. And again, like the time, you can set it by just pressing this button here. So I will set it for seven o'clock in the morning. As such, press mode, and then obviously we can just accelerate the, uh, m the actual passage of the actual uh, minutes up to uh, double zero, which is seven o'clock. And then just press the adjust button again, and that alarm is now set for seven o'clock or to go off every day at seven o'clock in the morning. And again, if you just want that turned off, it's as easy as that. 
The actual next mode is stopwatch. This is quite a simple um, stopwatch. I mean, obviously it's indicated by the ST here. And what you'll notice is that the actual graphic display is now blank because it actually indicates that you are measuring elapsed time with it going around and around as such. And just to kick things off, to start the stopwatch, you press that button there. And as you can see, you see the passage of time. To stop it, you press that and it'll stop it. And then press the adjust button to reset it. If you want to do a split time, you then just press this button here again and then you press the adjust button again to record a split and what you'll notice is that the SPL letters at the bottom are indicated there just to say it's got a split time activated but you'll notice here is that the colon or the time colon is flashing just to say that you're still measuring an elapsed time to release the split time you press adjust again and as you'll notice is that obviously the seconds are now measuring what the actual elapsed time is to stop the stopwatch you press that and then um, reset as such and this will also do two finishes as such. So to measure the two finishes, say if you've got two runners going on, um, so let's start the stopwatch again. And then what you then press is the adjust button to do a split time, and that could measure the first runner finishing. And to measure the second runner, you press this button here to stop the stopwatch, and then you release the actual split time, and then that would be, in essence, the time of the second runner. So you, you, know, you can use it just to measure two runners going you know, through the actual finish line as such. Now just to quickly reset it, you then press that and then that's that. So the final mode on this uh, watch is on the Casio LW201 and there is instructions below if there is any more um, features on the watch that I haven't explained in today's video, is dual time. Now dual time will allow you to measure or indicate a time in a different part of the world. And in this instance and every instance I've done on the tutorialist Casios, um, I always say New York because New York is about five hours behind. So if you are communicating with a business associate in New York and you're here in the UK or a loved one you wish to talk to, then with the just displaying the dual time by easily going through the modes, you can get in a quick snapshot into what would be the best time to call them. So with it being five hours behind, it will be 10.42 as opposed to 9.42. So all you do is keep your finger on the adjust button and you just advance it an hour as easy as that. And then obviously you can advance it an hour just to get to the right time in what would be um, the part of the world that you're looking to feature the time here on and it's quite easily done and again if you want to move it forward so if you want to adjust the minutes you can do by just doing that as well and it's as easy as that and if I just press adjust it turns it off and then that's it and then you just press mode to go back to the main screen and that's really it for the uh, Casio LW201 it's not a real complicated watch as such and as I said there is instructions below and there's also an affiliate link if you are interested in this watch and it is a you know it's an easy watch to operate so there you go so I hope you like the video um, or the tutorial of this watch there will be more tutorials coming soon and please click on the subscription button and um, if you want to see them tutorials or be notified of the tutorials and click on the like button as well if if you like the video and thank you for watching this tutorial we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye